Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. Today we are going to make this floral wreath hello card. It was inspired by a pin that I saw on Pinterest by Crafty Kelly. It was from a Stampin' Up! Global Design Project and she had actually used flowers from the Jar of Love um, stamp set. I have used All Things Fabulous with the hello from Create with Friends. Um, I've used Melon Mambo, Blushing Bride, Basic Grey, Flirty Flamingo, Pear Pizzazz, Old Olive, and Garden Green. I've used the dies that go with the All, Thing, All Things Fabulous set. And I also used the Brick and Mortar 3D embossing folder. So I've already stamped and cut out all the flowers and the leaves and the greeting. When you do the leaves, if you stamp them far enough apart, you can cut all three out at once. Uh, and to build the wreath, I used some layering circles dies and ran them through so that I have a ring to build my wreath on. Uh, I honestly, I was struggling to get everything kind of in a circle. So I've created myself a wreath base and I built the wreath on here and then dimensionalized it onto the card. So I need a Blushing Bride card base and it is a tent fold landscape card. I need a piece of Melon Mambo cardstock in five and a quarter by four. And then I needed a piece of the basic white in five by three and three quarters. And I ran it through the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. So those pieces actually I can put together right now. And that will kind of get that piece done. And then we'll start working on building the actual card, the wreath itself. So most of the leaves, in fact, all of the leaves are stuck straight down on the ring. And then some of the flowers are dimensionalized and some are uh, flat as well. So we're just going to center that, pop it down, do the same with the brick and mortar embossed basic white cardstock. And we'll just pop that in like that. And we've got the card base ready to go. So let's get started with the um, wreath. All I did is I took the stamp and seal and I ran it all the way around the ring so that I had a sticky surface all the way around like that and of course it sticks to your hand but you just disentangle yourself so as I said I've cut everything out already um, so I kind of know where I want to place things but I've got five of the blushing bride flowers with melon mambo setter centers I've got three of the flirty flamingo flowers with melon mambo centers and I've got three of the Melon Mambo flowers with basic gray centers. And it almost comes up looking like a uh, gorgeous grape uh, center. So using my card as a guide here, I'm just going to start layering in some leaves. Just like that. And you can, you can do this again, as usual, any color that you like. It doesn't have to be the colors that I've chosen. And you can um, create whatever look you want. I'm just going to come in and add some leaves like that. And then with this one, I started with a Melon Mambo one at the top, like that, just overlapping. And then I added some leaves in here. Actually, I used the old olive leaves here like this. And I just built as I went, um, just putting things where I thought they should go, 
You can always fill in if you need to punch out a couple of more leaves or, sorry, cut out a couple more leaves at the end. You absolutely can. And I'm going to dimensionalize this flower here. So yeah, this will just take a few minutes to, to build this, but I wanted to show you this piece of it, how I actually constructed the wreath on the ring um, before um, I built the card. So I'm just going to do that like that. And then we dimensionalize this one. And as always, it is completely your choice how you put the flowers on. If you want more flowers, if you want to do little flowers and larger flowers, uh, it's, it's absolutely your call. So we can do that. And then we're flat. Uh, we need to put another set of leaves on just like this here and then put a melon or a flirty flamingo flower kind of over top like that and then we're going to come in with one of these like this and one like this and come in with a uh, dimensionalized blushing bride flower. So we're just going to come in like that. And we're going to tuck in another one of the flirty flamingo flowers just underneath like that. Just I just want to make sure I'm covering up that ring on the bottom. I'm going to pop in uh, another set of leaves. I'm just going to lift this up a little bit, tuck it underneath like that. And then I'm going to pop a set of leaves like that. And the last set of leaves just like that. Okay, now where am I at? I need to put this one down flat. I'm actually going to put a little bit more adhesive on this one just to make sure that it's got enough on it and I'm going to pop it like right there like that. And I need to dimensionalize this one here. Oops, I haven't cut that side yet. <laughs> I'm gonna dimensionalize this one and pop it on top. And you'll notice I'm kind of changing the directions of the flowers a little bit, just so it looks a little bit more out there. I'm going to add some adhesive to this one, layer it over top like that, and then dimensionalize this last flower. And pop this one in like that. So there we go. Uh, that's the wreath built. And then I'm going to dimensionalize it onto the card like this and I need to trim these so that I have more there we go and I'm just gonna pop that down like that and that like that and that like that and then I will stick it down onto the card and then I will add the hello wherever it kind of makes sense to, to put it in, wherever it fits best. I was going to put it off to the side in the bottom corner and then I realized that it really wouldn't work there. So I'm going to, this seems to go best, um, maybe this way up like this. And there we go. So we pop that down and then I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of the hello and I'm just going to kind of tuck it in where it makes most sense to tuck it in. Just like that. So there you go. There is a floral wreath hello card built using the All Things Fabulous uh, flowers and the dyes that go with them. The stamp and cut and emboss uh, brick and mortar 3D embossing folder and the hello from Create with Friends. 
I also used the circle, the layering circle dies to create my ring to build the wreath on. And then I cut out the hello with one of the uh, um, Stitch So Sweetly dies. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this and you've uh, learned how to make a wreath on a ring to adhere to a card. Thank you so much for watching and let's create together again soon.